Welcome to Civil Concept and in this video I am going to show you how to calculate cement, sand and aggregate in a column. Okay, So you can see here the column and for this column we will calculate cement, sand and aggregate required for this dimension. Okay, So step 1 we have to calculate the weight volume of the column. Okay, So assuming the cross section area, uh, cross section of the column is 24 inch by 20 inch, uh, its uh, length and width is 20 inch by 24 inch and height is 10 feet okay so you can see here the height of this column is 10 feet and you can put according to your requirement okay so length of the uh, column is how much 24 inch which is 0 0.610 meter okay so if you convert inch into meter then you will uh, get this much meter and the uh, breadth of the pillar is how much 0 0.508 meter and the height is how much 10 feet which will be 3.05 meter okay so to convert weight volume of the uh, column just we have to multiply length into width into height okay so after putting all these values we will get how much 0 0.944 meter cube and this is the weight volume of the uh, column okay so we have to convert it into dry volume because because we uh, always get the cement sand and aggregate in dry uh, dry condition okay so uh, to convert weight volume into dry we have to add 52 to 54 uh, percent for shrinkage and wastage uh, to get dry volume okay so i am assuming here 54 percent so dry volume will be how much 0 0.94 into 1.54 uh, it means we have added 54 percent of the concrete and after multiplying this we will get how much 1.45 meter cube and this is guys dry volume of the concrete for this column okay now in step 3 we will get uh, we will calculate cement sand and aggregate uh, separately for this we have to assume the concrete mix uh, for m20 grade of concrete and uh, the con uh, concrete ratio the ingredient ratio for m20 grade of concrete will be 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 and this will be our cement parts of cement this is a parts of sand and this is a parts of aggregate okay so similarly if we assume m15 grade of concrete then the mix ratio will be other like 1 is to 2 is to 4 etc okay so total parts it's uh, we have to sum up this uh, mix ratio which will be 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 which is 5.5 parts now we have to apply the formula the volume of cement will be what parts of cement multiply dry volume divided by total parts okay so parts of cement is how much one uh, dry volume we have already calculated is how much 1.54 meter cube and total parts is how much 5.5 so putting all this value we will get how much 0 0.263 meter cube okay so this is the volume of cement and uh, similarly for sand we have to add parts of sand which is 1.5 dry volume which we have calculated here 1.54 meter cube and uh, divided by total parts which is 5.5 okay so after uh, putting all the value we will get how much 0 0.395 meter cube similarly for aggregate parts of aggregate multiply dry volume divided by total parts and after putting all the value we will get how much 0 0.791 meter cube okay so we have calculated the volume of cement, volume of sand and volume of aggregate separately. Okay, So uh, we have to convert volume of cement into bags of cement because the cement always comes in bags. Okay, So given calculated volume of cement we have calculated uh, how much 0 0.263 meter cube and we, uh, we have 1 meter cube of cement contains how much 28.8 bags. Uh, eight, uh, 8 bags of cement okay so you have to remember this 1 meter cube of cement contains 28.8 bags of cement okay so number of bags required will be how much 0 0.263 this is a volume of cement multiplied by 28.8 which is uh, 1 meter cube of cement contains 28.8 bags of cement okay so multiplying it we will get how much 7.5744 bags this is approximately how much 8 bags of cement okay so in summary we will get how much number of bags 8 bags of cement volume of sand is 0 0.395 meter cube and volume of aggregate will be 0 0.791 meter cube for this dimension of column okay so in this way we can calculate the cement sand and aggregate for any uh, dimension of the column okay so please like this video and subscribe this channel for new update about civil engineering